Memorial Day is tomorrow, and we remember those who lost their life while fighting in the midst of war. Memorial Day has come to symbolize so many other things, but originally it was for loss of life for those who fought and died while fighting during war. Let us enter into a prayer on Memorial Day weekend. In the quiet sanctuaries of our hearts, let us call on the one who created us, who sustains us, who calls us to live in peace. Hear our prayer for all who have died, whose hearts are known to you. Hear our prayer for those who put the welfare of others ahead of their own and give us hearts as generous as theirs. Hear our prayer for those who gave their life in the service of others. Help us to shape a world where we will lay down the arms of war and turn our swords into plowshares for a harvest of justice and peace. Comfort those who grieve the loss of their loved ones and let your healing be the hope in our hearts. Hear our prayer this day. Amen. At this time, if you know those who died while fighting in one of our wars, or those who served and are no longer in our earthly presence, let us lift up their names. James Eugene Law. We hold these names before you, O oh God. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we will turn our, our attention to the recent victims of gun violence. to express sadness and to mourn the loss of so many across the country and the world, particularly the, the loss of life of children in Uvalde and close to home. We hear of hateful violence and senseless killing. We feel the suffering, sorrow, and the shame of the oppressed. We fear that justice will again be delayed or denied. We recognize patterns of privilege and systems of discrimination. We weep for the victims of and grieve in the aftermath of the news of this week, the news in these past few weeks, the news that starts the cycle again. We need to end the cycle. And so our prayers of lament are also a prayer to action. Two weeks ago was the massacre, the murders of 10 people who were shopping in Buffalo, New York, in primarily an African-American geographical area. And two weeks ago, we did not name them. We did not light candles. And they may or not be forgotten in the recent shooting of this last week. At this time, Pamela and I are going to read the names of those who lost their lives, who were killed, who were murdered in Buffalo, New York, and Angie will be lighting a candle for each one. And then we will move on to lives lost, students and teachers of Robb Elementary. Roberta A. Drury, age 32. Margus D. Morrison, age 52. Andre McNeil, age 53. Aaron Salter, age 55. Geraldine Talley, age 62. 
Celestine Cheney, age 65. Hayward Patterson, age 67. Catherine Massey, age 72. Pearl Young, age 77. And Ruth Whitfield, age 86. And I'm going to invite Cindy to come up and Marilyn, um, the chairs in the chancel area represent lives taken too soon, lives murdered. And as we call forth their names, their names will be taped to these chairs. Students and teachers of Robb Elementary, Uvalde, Texas. Nevea Bravo, age 10. Jackie Casares, age 9. McKenna Lee Elrod, age 10. Jose Manuel Flores Jr., age 10. Eliana Ellie Garcia, age 9. Uzziah Garcia, age 8 or 9. Amari Jo Garza, age 10. Xavier Lopez, age 10. Jace Carmelo Luvanos, age 10. Tess Marie Mata, age 10. Miranda Mathis, age 11. Alethea Ramirez, age 10. Annabelle Guadalupe Rodriguez, age 10. Maddie Juliana Rodriguez, age 10. Alexandra, Alexandria Lexi Ania Rubio, age 10. Layla Salazar, age 11. Jaila Nicole Silguero, age 10. Eliana Torres, age 10. Rogelio Torres, age 10, and their teachers. Irma Garcia, age 48. Eva Morales, age 44. And we remember also the husband of one of the teachers who literally died of a broken heart. At this time, we will sing, Lead Us From Death to Life. It is found in the Black Book, the New Century Hymnal, number 581.
Join our voices in a prayer in the wake of gun violence and mass shootings. Healing and holy God, today as we worship, our grief is palpable over the epidemic of gun violence. O oh God who remembers, we hold before you all who have died from the plague of gun violence in our land. We remember all those who have died in incidents of mass gun violence in this nation's public and private spaces. We remember those who have died in school shootings and mass shootings, those who have died by a gun in the course of an argument or from abuse or by accident, and those who have taken their lives with a gun. We lift our voices in sorrow and frustration knowing that every life is infinitely valuable to you. Be with all those who suffer from the lasting trauma incidents and violence leave in their wake. Let us pause for a moment as there's an Amber Alert, one of our children. And we pray for this one too, oh God. Let us pick up the prayer. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let per a perpetual shine upon them. For survivors of gun violence, grant them comfort and healing. Hear us, Lord. For those who have lost loved ones to gun violence, grant them peace. Hear us, Lord. For those first responders who care for victims of gun violence, protect and strengthen them. Receive all who have died into the arms of your mercy. Bless those who mourn with the hope of eternal life and strengthen our hearts and our arms to bring an end to this scourge. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And now I invite you to outstretch your arms, imagining 
our interconnectedness with one another and the world as we pray the prayer of Jesus. Our creator who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. You are invited to come, to light candles. There's a basket of candles here on this stool. And there is a basket of candles at the end of this first pew. When you come, allow space between you. Those from this side will enter here and then go around your pews. So this side will come and go around that way. Remember that if you come into this space, our camera here will be on you for a moment. We are recording, we are on social media, and so you can choose um, whether you enter into this invitation at this time. We'll leave the candles lit uh, for after our worship um, when we stop recording. Our prayers of lament, our lighting candles, is an invitation to a call to action, and so invite you into a time of prayer of how God is calling you to action. This day, our first musical piece is a recording, Jesus, Remember Me, and we'll allow the choir to go first um, to light candles if they so choose, and then they will come back to offer live our other um, music pieces, Jesus.